Well, local vendors are in the final stages of preparing for the 82nd annual Magic City Classic. Just over a couple weeks away. Yeah, WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough shows us how a new small business owner is hoping to cash in on the success of the classic. Michael Watkins just launched his own business, Mikey's Hot Dog Cafe. He's one of countless vendors who will be set up outside of Legion Field for the Magic City Classic, the perfect opportunity to help grow his new small business. There's nothing like word of mouth. Even though we have internet and fast access, I still think sometimes that word of mouth is still fastest. And with a crowd like the Classic Draws, there will be plenty of chatter in and around the stadium. That's why first impression is everything. You gotta be good. Organizers say the Classic is expected to draw fans from at least 36 different states right here to Birmingham and Jefferson County resulting in a pretty significant economic impact. This is something that is, you know, it's calculable. So you think about $23 million north of that for economic impact. For vendors, preparing for the classic is not like preparing for an ordinary event. After all, tens of thousands of people attend the annual game. Stocking up on your product, making sure there's enough of it. What happens if it sells out? Making sure that you are double prepared to have enough for a day like this with this many people. Small business owners hope to cash in on a small portion of that $23 million economic impact. I see how it can just really help the community. Vendors gearing up for three full days of fun and excitement at Legion Field. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.